Yeah, I think this is always a great party, though. You know, the one we look forward to at the end of the year, see the drivers and everything. It's, just, it's really, really good news. And of course, Lewis Hamilton claimed his second world title. How proud are you of Lewis's achievement? He's done incredible, incredible what he's done. He won New York right from the start once he showed up, you know, in carts and then straight through. Sorry, it's terrific. Do you see Lewis winning more world titles in, in the coming years? I, I, I don't know when he's going to stop. He's got, he's got the right car. He is extraordinarily fast. So why should he stop? I mean, Fangio was at four, what, 47 years old when he got his, his last one, so maybe he'll do that. And of course, it's a difficult moment for Jensen Button at the moment. He doesn't know if his future will be with McLaren next season. What, what do you think is going through Jensen's head at the moment? You know, is, is he a bit in limbo? In, in, I, I, I actually called up to speak to him because I think he's in a very difficult situation which shouldn't have happened, quite frankly, because he is one of the best drivers out there. He, you know, in, in, in every way, and, and I think it's, it's really a great shame. And hopefully we'll hear something tonight, maybe. You never know. What did you say to him? Did you, did you say to him just to keep your head up and just encourage him? Well, it was partly encouragement and partly a suggestion. If they're going to mess him about, I thought, well, he might just as well go and win Le Mans with an Audi, then go over to America, mop up over there, come back over here and enjoy next year. What the hell? Do you think it would be a big mistake if McLaren, you know, ditched Button because he's such an experienced driver and he's won the world title before? I, I don't see who they're going to get who's, who's any better, frankly. I, I'm a great fan of his and in every way, I mean, not just only driving, but making decisions of what to do. I mean, he's a very complete driver. Just a last point on Sebastian Vettel. He's moved to Ferrari. Do you think that might recapture his form? And, and he's lost. He maybe lost a bit of a spark last year. Maybe this could give him a, a new lease of life. But, but he's a fantastic driver. He really is. And you know, I mean, I, 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 I was really amazed. But, but he's getting fairly good pay. So I suppose you can cry fairly loudly for 150 million or something. So it's been good all round. The Formula One season has been a tiny bit boring because one engine and one car has more or less been winning all the time. But uh, nevertheless, it's been a good year. Absolutely, and, and you mentioned the Formula One season. Lewis has stolen all the headlines again. How do you reflect on his second world title? You know, well, it was very, very tight. Obviously, uh, Rosberg or you know Nico or. or you know, he could have won it also. So I, I think it was tight. Lewis, I think, was the fastest driver of the two, but the difference wasn't very big. So I think he deserved to win it because, of course, he won many more Grand Prix. So I think he's a worthy world champion, obviously, and it's nice to see him getting that second championship. Of course, Sir Jackie Lewis is just behind you in in the overall um, world championship rankings. But do you see him winning more world titles in the coming years? You know, Mercedes-Benz are not midfield runners. When they came into motor racing way, way back, and then. For example, the 20s, the 30s, and then in the 50s, they were only in to win. And I think they're still looking towards that. So I think uh, Lewis has every chance to win uh, many more world championships. And just for Jensen Button, it's been a difficult time at the moment. He doesn't know perhaps where his future is going to be next year. How do you see Jensen's situation playing out? Well, uh, I think everybody's waiting to see how, how it's going to go for Jensen, whether he's going to stay at McLaren or whether he'll go elsewhere. Probably not in Formula One, I would have thought, if he's not with McLaren. Very experienced driver, and he drove some really good races this year. So I think he'll be rather disappointed if he doesn't get the, the seat at McLaren. But that's a decision that I think is mixed up between the Honda, between Alonso, as well as the McLaren people themselves to make that decision. But we'll just have to wait and see. If you, if you were man managing the team, you would have a driver like Jensen with his experience in your team, would you, if you could pick? Yes, but I, I suppose part of the decision is looking at that Alonso's got that experience in the team and would they be bringing on another young driver who would be the future? Because I don't think uh, Fernando necessarily will be in motor racing for another five or ten years, so therefore they have to look towards youth. But uh, I think Jensen has been very good for McLaren and of course McLaren have been good for him so it, it'll be a, a sad parting if there's going to be a parting. Of course Alonso as you mentioned has gone back to McLaren um, for the second time. Did you ever see that happening? Do you envisage that happening? 
Well, he was a younger driver when that McLaren issue went the last time. Um, he now has all the power because he's probably one of the best drivers up here currently. And I think maybe one of the issues about Jensen is that he may have something in his contract that allows him to have an influence on who his teammate's going to be. Just a final point on Sebastian Vettel, he's, he's moved to Ferrari, could that give him a new lease of life? Because last year he, he slipped down the, the rankings a little bit, but maybe it give well, rejuvenate him a little bit. I think that um, he had a difficult year. I don't think the car suited him, but to have four world championships back to back, clearly the superiority of his machinery, um, the Renault engine was a good engine at that time, uh, the chassis was probably the best chassis by quite a farmer's mile. So he won a championship back to back four times, which is a very unusual thing to do. That demonstrates how important the car was, and Adrian knew he was at his very sharpest at that time. So I, I think he'll struggle a little bit. Ferrari have to hopefully be more successful than they've been in the past. Uh, Ferrari had a lot of peak and valleys in their whole history and for them not to be winning is not a good thing for motorsport either so I, I rather hope that uh, the combination of Sebastian and Ferrari will bring back more success. We, we need another team up there uh, outside of uh, right now the Mercedes team that's for sure and Red Bull will I hope be successful again uh, but we need to see McLaren up there. It's the first year with the Honda but Honda they like to win too. Uh, Post-season, yeah, I mean, I feel I did everything I could this year and um, it's never an easy year when you have a car that's not so competitive, but um, I feel I did the best I could. I enjoyed most of my racing and um, especially the last few races were great fun, you know, finishing fourth or fifth in most of the last races, so enjoyable, good battles out there and um, yeah, we'll see where I am next year.